hey what's up guys what is going on so the most anticipated version of android that is the android 11 has been officially available and we are waiting for the update of oneplus 6 and the wait is over the new pixel os first beta build is available and surprisingly it's way better to use it as the daily driver so today in this video we are presenting the installation and the overview of the pixel os we have given the timeline of each content in the video description so you can skip the video as per your requirement. So you are watching for a take without wasting any time. Let's get started. Before proceeding you must download all the required files that is the Pixen OS 11 zip file. If anyone want to root the device they can download the magic debug file. The people who want the OP camera they can also flash the OP camera zip file. You need the latest TWR 3.4.0 plus for the installation of the Pixen OS. After booting to the latest TWR, first you have to wipe your device. You don't have to wipe the data partition, you have to just factory set your phone. Then you have to install the Pixen OS 11 zip file. If anyone wants the root, they can flash the Magix debug zip file. Then flash the TWRP installer zip file. Then you have to flash the finalized zip. I have not shown the installation of finalized zip here. It will help to copy the Android 11 base firmware on the both the slot. Then you have to reboot your system. Hey, did you all notice this? We flash the Pixel OS, but the boot animation is of Nitrogen OS here, so it's not a deal breaking. It will be fixed in the next update. So first of all we go to the settings and the about phone as I already flashed the ROM and then all the settings I preferred the dark theme but you can change it to the light under the display option. So now we are successfully updated to Android 11 security patch level is of 5th September 2020. To enable the Android 11 sister egg you need to round the dial 2-3 times and finally you will see the number 11 and the cat emoji like the Android Nougat. So the first impression of ROM is very good, almost all the things are working like the Wi-Fi, NFC, adaptive brightness and the Bluetooth. The OnePlus phone's key feature that is alert slider is also working here. Brightness sliders and the adaptive brightness is also working perfectly. The fingerprint scanner is also working good. So next back question, whether camera is working or not, yes camera is working there but it has some issues. And it's not a deal breaking to use this ROM as a daily driver. So congratulations Indian users, the OLT sims are working so you can enjoy the OLT enable sim on this ROM. So let's discuss what is not working on this ROM. The first one is the OK Google detection to wake the voice assistant is not working because we are not able to enable the tab for the OK Google under the Google app setting. But you can use the Google Assistant manually by swapping on the bottom left and right corner. Sadly, now playing feature to detect the music is not working here in this ROM. So what about the camera issues that I already told? It's nothing but the camera suddenly goes the blank and unresponsive while using some key features like the portrait mode. So to use the camera app, you need to force close it. Slow motion is also not working. Except this, everything is working fine. I have given the link of OnePlus camera under the video description. You can flash that zip while installation of the ROM. And after the reboot, you have to manually install the OnePlus camera application manually. The next bug is we are not able to add the emergency contact in the Google Safety app which is pre-installed in the ROM. Hope all these issues will be fixed soon in the next update. But they are not deal breaking to use this ROM as a daily driver. So now let's discuss what's navigate after the upgrade into the Google's Android new version, Android 11. The first thing we noticed after the upgrade is the ROM's fluidity. I have ever seen such fluidity in the previous versions of the Android. Everything is super smooth, touch response and the animations while doing your day-to-day -day activities. They are treat for your eyes and for your fingers. So the Android 11 come with the new bunch of the features, one of them is the new notification control and overall design change in the notification panel where you got the individual notification for each of your conversations in the notification panel so you don't miss any of your notifications. The next big thing is the new recents overall in the Android 11. Now you got the bigger recent cards with the dedicated buttons like the screenshot and the select. 
By using the select, we can able to copy share search any of the text and the picture on that card. We also got the new screenshot animations and their edit options. The dedicated share button in the recent card is not available in this ROM. It is exclusively available on the Pixel devices. The next big overall change in the design and the features of the power menu where we are able to add some extra buttons for the different activities like the smart home controls and the Google Pay cards. For that you need to go under the gadgets and then select the power menu but in this ROM we are not able to add any of these activities because that setting is not available till now. The new big update in Android 11 is media control. To use it, you have to go to settings and there under the sound, you have to disable the option hide the player when the media session is enabled. Now when you play any media, it will show the persistent media control in a kick setting panel. At a time, you can manage any media that are playing through different media applications. There is also option to change the media source within the quick setting panel. Android 11 now comes with the new quick setting panel blur which will blur the background whenever you access your notification panel or the quick setting panel which is not available in the previous versions. Android 11 Pixel Launcher comes with the some new features. The first one is home screen and the app draw rotation. You have to enable these settings in a home setting of the Pixel Launcher. The second one feature is the app suggestion on your home screen. It's just like the app suggestions shown in the app drawer. You need to enable it inside the suggestion setting. This feature will show you the frequently used app suggestion in the form of the row on your home screen. So what is the verdict? Did you need to upgrade? In my opinion, definitely yes, because you are getting the latest Android version. Latest security patch, new cool and the useful feature with the bleeding edge technology. So what about the bugs? Bugs are there but they are not the deal breaking. You can use this ROM as a daily driver and this ROM is the pretty stable. The one thing I miss here is the battery life review. But I need to make the separate video on that because I have just installed this ROM two days back. But for now as per my app uses, battery life is average. I need to make some intensive tests before making the final verdict on the battery life of this ROM. So guys now the time is to leave but before leaving if you help you then just like this video, subscribe our channel, press bell icon and stay tuned for the next video.